While they continue to make progress, the Guam Election Commission is still not fully compliant with federal accessibility requirements. We have assistive technology um, packets uh, throughout the all 21 polling places at every precinct, but we still don't, you know, if a person who is not a who cannot see um, comes in to vote, they still cannot vote independently. GEC Executive Director Maria Pangolinan says that may change as the commission is currently looking into using a new ballot marking device to help people cast their vote privately and independently. It's called the Election Systems and Software AutoMark System. It has universal access where persons with disabilities are able to uh, vote independently. In the past, um, our persons with disabilities will, um, for the, those that cannot see, they would have to um, have people assist them when they vote. The device has been around for years, but will be a new addition for voters on Guam. The system provides autonomy to voters who are visually impaired or have a disability or condition that makes it difficult to traditionally mark a ballot. It features an audio function where you can hear the list of candidates, a zoom feature where you increase font size, and has a sip puff tube for voters who are unable to touch the screen. Pangolinan borrowed the machines from the CNMI Election Commission and will spend the next few weeks with partners and consumers researching and testing the system to see if it is suitable for Guam. This, however, will not be the first time the GEC tried to use technology to make voting easier. Several years ago, there were issues over using Ivatronic machines. Pangolinan says this, however, would be different. This one has a paper trail. Uh, this one works with the ballot. So, um, and, uh, and we have enough time to do the education to go around and make sure that the voters that will use it will have access to it uh, with ample time before the election so that they can get training on it and we can make it uh, available. The Ivatronic machines didn't meet the mandate of a voter verified paper ballot and have since been surveyed by GSA. In the meantime, the primary election is set for August 27, 2016. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Ken Quintaniza.